Thank you for taking a couple of minutes out to learn about the effects of lead and lead poisoning. My name is Rick French. I'm from the City of Philadelphia Health Department, the Lead and Healthy Homes Program. Here's a brief overview. This is to educate on the dangers and effects of lead poisoning. In a city such as Philadelphia, where it is estimated that 80 to 90 percent of the housing stock was built before 1978 and may contain lead paint, it is very important to educate the residents about lead paint hazards. What is lead? Lead is a naturally occurring element found in the Earth's crust. It is poisonous and it is a metal that is very durable and resistant to corrosion and other harmful elements. Lead in the home. Houses built before 1978 may have lead paint in the interior and exterior surfaces of the home. You may find lead in products such as paint, gasoline, household water pipes, food cans, ceramic wear, pottery, folk remedies, cosmetic makeup, and even soil. Here are a few photos of defective lead paint hazards in the home. If you look at the pictures, you will see peeling paint, chipping paint, chalking, and a lot of cracking paint. The health effects of lead poisoning varies. However, it is most harmful to children where some of the effects are nervous system damage, kidney damage, learning disabilities, attention deficit disorder, decreased intelligence, speech problems, poor muscle coordination, decreased uh, bone growth. In adults, illnesses during pregnancy, it's harmful to the fetus, fertility problems in both men and women, high blood pressure, digestive problems. The severe health effects of lead poisoning are seizures, unconsciousness, and death. Testing for lead poisoning. Even children who have no physical symptoms can be lead poisoned. The only way to find out if a child has been lead poisoned is to get a blood lead test. It is advised to have children tested about nine months and then once a year until the age of six. We have resources for education, inspection, remediation, and relocation assistance. Who can qualify for this assistance? Homeowners can qualify, so can tenants and landlords. Qualified applicants must provide proof of ownership to the property, proof of household income for the previous 30 days, a blood lead test for the child under the age of six, if applicable, and agree to the terms to of the grant. Also, most importantly, they must relocate while the work is being done. Assistance for those who qualify is not limited to relocation, stipend, the vacuum cleaner, to other departments such as PHDC, Philadelphia Housing Development Corporation, LNI, and more. Most importantly, and this cannot be stated strongly enough, this is not a home remodeling program. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the Lead and Healthy Homes Program at 215-685-2788. Again, 215-685-2788. Or you can email me at ricardo.french at philip.gov.